Welcome to Analytics with Max. This is another video in the Azure Data Factory series where I'm going to talk about different transformations inside data flows. What are those transformations? Trim, join and filter. Let's try to check it out as part of this video. So what are we going to do today? We have a storage blob and we have two files there, sales and product and we are going to perform this transformation trim join and filter i will tell you why we are using trim and what i am going to do here and filter it basically uh, we have a sales data here and we also have a product data separated in the sales data we have a product column and in the product we all have a, some other column let's say like a parent band so we need to bring this parent brand in the sales data we will try to show it in the demo what i'm trying to achieve and then this sales data contains a lot of uh, location data chennai bangalore and uh, other things what i need is i need only the chennai sales along with the product attribute that is parent brand combined so these are the different transformations i um, need to do to achieve this target let's try to do this and we will store this uh, data output in a, another storage block as a processed file this channel contains a free content that contains a power bi msbi and the fundamentals of azure and SQL Server along with this data factory uh, playlist as well. Please utilize this free content, share this channel with your friends and colleagues. Let's begin. So as I said before, what we are going to do today, we have uh, source files that is sales and product. Let me open sales. You can see here the sales data contains uh, all the sales information and one of the field called product you can see the product here and in this sales information you can see uh, chennai hyderabad bangalore different locations data and assume there is someone from chennai head he calls and asks uh, he needs a chennai information alone along with the product parent brand right this is the product we have that is uh, item name and this is the category he needs another extra information like parent brand where that information exists that information exists in the product table so if you see here product table so parent brand information is available that is levy's unbranded peter england kind of so this is the um, data we have for product and we also have the data for sales so we will combine the product information in the sales and get only the parent brand here now when i initially explored right when i did that i found one issue here the item name contains a space if you see here uh, the item name here this, this is space here uh, jeans levis and jeans levis so this will not match when you join with the product information. So we need to trim it. That is what we need to do the transformation. Then after trimming, we can join with this column. So you can see Jean's sleeve is here. So you can join with the column. So this is the overall uh, idea about uh, what we are trying to achieve it uh, today. Let's try to check it out. Now, going back to Data Factory, I'm going to create the transformation. So I will create a new data flow, add the source as my sales data, that is sales SA, that is storage account data set. And that's it. Now I need to add another source here, that is my product sa underscore data set that is uh, storage account data set i have added it now as i said before i have explored the option earlier in the um, 
what you call in the sales data we have some issues in the product so i need to clean it so how to clean that column i have an option called a uh, derived column so again it is a derived column in our previous example we have used the derived column for some other purpose right now we are using for cleaning the data now i need to choose uh, the item name and what i need is open explosion now that is the option you can search uh, like a trim like this i know there is a function l trim so i will start typing it l trim which is nothing but the left hand side trim and the column name i know like when you press the column name like this maybe you can press the input schema here that is item name so this is the syntax even you can amend uh, l trim and r trim also r trim and there is a function available with trim i'm not sure we can use that directly but i prefer to use l trim r trim if the trim is not working properly so this is the syntax so what it will do it will replace that item name properly with this item name now once it is done and in the source to right i can add the join now because i clean that um, data that is trimmed it now i'm going to join the add the join here and i will configure the join the first i will do uh, the inner join i'll go for um, item name here that is that item name and i need to choose the right stream see this is the left stream that is the first jpl join and the left right stream is nothing but source 2 source 2 is nothing but our uh product information okay so that is what you, you can properly rename it now i use the inner join i this is not the session for you to explain the joins uh there will be i will add the code here to understand about the joins if you are not familiar with the joins so item name i use the name here so these two are matching now now that's it now when you see the preview here it will have all the columns till 10 columns till the sales data the join purpose is to expand the table get the additional attributes from the joining table so it gets all the other uh, additional columns from the product table so these are the co uh, columns from the product table source 2 you can see source 1 source 2 source 2 so what we can do is we can restrict this output using the select in select what we will do we will select what our columns we require we don't require the name of the product we don't require the category name we need only the parent brand and cost price and tax everything we ignore so now we have only this as part of the requirement what we need to do is we need to filter the data only for the Chennai that is location equal to Chennai now for that let's go and add another filter there is a condition called filter so configure this click on this filter go at the bottom and filter on all right you go to expression just use the column location and you have a symbols here this equal to is your equal it's not a single equal to you need to use double equal to i want chennai so this is the code for you to filter the channel now what happens uh, you have trimmed the data for that space in that column then you have joined then you have selected few of the uh, columns whichever you require then finally you filtered for chennai now you're going to sync it that is load it into target target what i need um, I need to load it into product uh, clean underscore data set that's fine now then you can do the settings here 
so in previous uh, videos you if you see i choose this default here that's why you get the file name as default for simplicity i am using this uh, output to single file right now but this is not recommended for the actual projects now i will say chennai sales uh, underscore one dot csv okay now once you choose output to single file right you need to go to single partition you need to set this then only it will work so understanding this uh, why we go for default and how the part comes i mean the file name uh, stored as a part underscore zero zero those things require you to understand the big data architecture hadoop all other stuffs i will cover that later part of the video uh, now I'll focus on uh, this like you choose output to single file so that you will get the same name uh, file name then you can choose the single partition now uh, we have configured the sync as well that's it we have uh, achieved whatever we want to do I will walk you through one second this is our uh, sales file this is our product file and sales file contains a space in the product we have uh, trimmed it then we join the columns using uh, sales file um, uh, item name that is product name and in the product file name column then we selected whichever columns we need then we filter by the Chennai then we are loading into the target that's it once you publish let's see uh, it requires okay we have created some um, data flow here okay we have created this new data flow we'll rename it as Chennai data I'm from Chennai so uh, allow to name <laughs> the files like that so um, now you have a Chennai data data flow here I, I'm, I hope uh, you know how to create this pipeline we have seen in our previous videos I'm not going to repeat it just create the pipeline and you can drag and drop maybe I will delete and do it again so you create the pipeline and data flow drag and drop just settings go to settings and Chennai data that's it so now once you have defined this uh, you are going to call this data flow in the pipeline and I will say instead of product I will say like Chennai that's it so now let's try to um, run this and we'll go and check in the processed file so this is the processed uh, file I mean folder that is going to store let's see how it works So it will take a little bit time the, the file size is very small but it uh, has to uh, be in the queue in the cluster a lot of other things right so it is succeed let's go and check now we got that file chain sales let's go and check it out now you can see the sales data is there along with the new column called parent brand that is unbranded uh, everything and you can see the Chennai right the Chennai sales and Peter England and for your information like we have used the inner join and whichever uh, codes that matches right those records only will come here now we have achieved what we have um, are doing it for today's video if you like this video hit the thumbs up button and comment below for queries and do remember that data is your asset